Hi, this is Ed with Thin Sky Aerial Services. Today I'm going to walk you through the uh, firmware update for the 210 RTK Datalink Pro Air System. So, that module is located on the back of the Sendence controller. I'll just turn it over here. And you'll notice that it's the same module that Datalink Pro 900 that is located on the ground system has that same four position switch on this module we're going to be flying in the can position also has the USB connector exactly the same as on the ground system when updating we're going to have that in the combo position there's our ground system with the same data link pro and the DRTK unit so let's go ahead and get this started so we have the USB um, cable in the Pro and into the computer and you'll notice that it now gives us uh, our icon that we are connected indicating on the back with the alternate blinking purple LED. Our combo, our switch is in combo position and we're ready to go ahead and start the update process. So we will actuate the um, the icon. I'll try it again here. Okay, and it says this version of the assistant we're not supported with the software. Excuse me, the firmware. So we're going to go ahead and update that version. And it's making sure that we meet all of these criteria, which we do. And then it starts the update process. So it is pretty quick. Uh, one thing we should note is that we did upgrade the um, firmware to the 210 aircraft itself and also already activated the aircraft. So here we go. We have a green status uh, indicator light blinking saying that the information is being saved and transferred. And then now you see that it's back to the magenta. Our update's complete, so we're still connected to the assistant. So now we'll power everything down, we'll take our cables out of here, and then we'll take our hardware into the field and make sure that our whole RTK system is functioning correctly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.